What's up guys? So today's video is going to be a bit different. So I'm going to show you how I took a piece of wood that was considered a coal. So a coal is something that is considered ugly, that has no value. They're tossed aside, they're considered worthless. And by using a bit of creativity, I was able to transform it into something beautiful. So this is another one of my passion projects. And whenever I say passion projects, I mean a project that I just wanted to make. I did not make this for anyone in particular. I made it for myself. And you need these types of projects to keep your sanity, even if you are running a woodworking business. It just keeps you from getting burnt out. So this project just kind of came out of the blue. And it started with seeing this slab. So I was going through a stack of some beautiful walnut and cherry. And I seen this little guy sitting over in the corner. Something about it just caught my attention. And you know, I really don't know what exactly that it was. Maybe it was the fact of this, you know, kind of super cool hourglass shape. Or the fact that I didn't want to see this slab go to the burn pile. And that is exactly where it was headed. The mill that I got this from had pulled this slab, set it aside to be fed back into the burners that fired the dry kiln. And honestly, whenever I got this thing home, I really had no clue what I was going to do with it. I just knew that I wanted to take something that was considered worthless and turn it into something useful. So up until this point, really all you've seen me do is clean this thing up a bit. And I did not want this thing to be completely perfect. That would kind of take away the point of perfection does not equal beauty. So by this point, I figured out that I wanted to make some type of a bench out of this. So to keep with the theme for the legs, I knew that I needed to use something that I had discarded. And I had this pile of old pipe clamps that I didn't use anymore. So perfect. So now I have my legs, but I still had to figure out something to do to this to make it different, to make it actually stand out. So I remembered this picture that I had seen a while back by an artist that had taken a piece of wood and actually attached pipe wrenches to it as the legs. What had made that piece memorable to me was that he'd actually made the pipe wrenches look like that it was squeezing the wood. I knew the basic concept of how he did it, but I've never really carved out anything, you know, anything really intricate. So this was all kind of new to me. But like I teach on the channel, that is how we grow is by getting out of our comfort zone, trying something new, and working the problem until you have it figured out. And speaking of problem, so projects like this, you see them all the time in photos. You see these beautiful staged up pictures of super cool projects that no one is teaching you how to make or showing you behind the scenes of how they made it. So just a quick note on the video, at this point, I had no clue what I was doing. In my mind, I wanted this thing to kind of look like a sheet had been pulled, you know, with those different ridges and different tension marks, but I really didn't know how to get that look. So I just went to town and started carving, and I did not get the look that I wanted the first time. I actually had to go back several times until I finally got the look that I wanted. I went back and made certain lines longer, made certain little crevices deeper, so just like this corner that I'm working on now, this was a first attempt and I did not like how it turned out. It just did not look like that it was this pinched piece of wood. It kind of looked like that, you know, the cabal or wow in a comic, you know. It was just kind of a crude, rough shape that had no softness to it. So with each corner that I would do, I would actually try to make it better. I would try to make it look more realistic. I would route the corners out even deeper. That way I could make the channels even longer to give it that look. And once I finally found the look that I wanted, the smoothness that I wanted to make it look realistic, I would actually go back to my previous corners that I'd done and redo them. And that's all part of the learning process. I did not give up after the first one didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. Okay, so I know that this is a different type of video than what I normally put out, but if you watch the channel, you know that I love my passion projects. It's all the different things that I have behind me. And you know that typically I like to name my passion projects. Why? I have no clue, but I just like to name them. So we have the Mad Hatter, the Black Widow, Down the Rabbit Hole, things like that. You know, it typically has some type of a 
meaning or you know it's kind of related to the look of the piece so i'm still kind of stumped on what to name this one i kind of have a general idea of where to go with it so i posted a picture of the final product on our patreon page and fyi link in the description if you're interested in joining our community which is growing like crazy hop on over there and check that out but i posted the final picture of it and just Ask their advice. What would you name this? What would you call it? And I gave the backstory of the piece of wood, how I chose this piece of wood, why I chose this piece of wood. And there were a ton of great ideas, but there was one that stood out in particular, and it was from a member named Beth. Beth just said Cinderella. So to be honest, at first I was like, Cinderella, why Cinderella? You know, I guess I didn't think about the story of Cinderella. So after some of the other members kind of went deeper into the Cinderella theme, you know, it kind of made sense. That was perfect. You know, not necessarily the name, but the theme. The aspect of something that was discarded, considered ugly or useless, just because people did not see the true beauty. They couldn't look past what was on the outside. And there was also the aspect of time. You know, the shape of this bench is... To me, it kind of looks like an hourglass. That was fitting as well. You know, in the story, it's a race against time. You know, they're always trying to hurry up before midnight. So, you know, that was kind of fitting as well. So with this basic Cinderella theme, help me think of something to name this that has to do with that. I still haven't figured out how I'm going to incorporate in the, you know, kind of the pinch marks into the name, but it really doesn't have to be. So enough about the name. If you can think of something that's super creative, throw it into the comments. I would love to hear what you guys think. And so by this point, I'm pretty much done. I have everything the way that I want it. And no, it's not perfect. But that is the cool thing about passion pieces. It doesn't matter what other people think. To me, it's perfectly imperfect. And it represents exactly what I had in mind from the beginning. That just because something doesn't meet the standards of industry or society or the labels that they put on things does not mean that it's worthless or ugly. And that if we all just took the time to look into something or into someone instead of at them, that you may just actually find true beauty. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love building those type of things where you're obviously mixing art with woodworking. It just makes for an awesome combination. In my mind, carpentry in general is an art. Everything that you do, when you take a pile of nothing and turn it into something, that is art. That is your art. And everyone is different. So this is your homework assignment for this week. Find something that you think is neat. Find something that makes you say, wow, you know, that's that's super awesome. Try to replicate it with your own spin, okay? Put your own twist to it, but try to figure out how they made it, okay? Use this thing. It works. Use it. You just have to challenge yourself. And what you're going to find is that your creativity is there. You may not think that it's there, but it's there. And once you can start seeing these things, figuring out how these things were built, it's going to open your mind to other projects. You'll see it'll open doors. I mean, it'll be like a light switch coming on. You'll start seeing different projects and you'll be like, I know how they did that. Let's incorporate it into this build or this build and you can make some super awesome stuff. So until next time, guys, you know your homework, go get it.